Today's date is uh, Wednesday, April 8, 2020. This is Mega Comrade Officer Clement Iranomigo Edegbe, the open leader of People's Freedom Movement worldwide. Uh, this pandemic that is going around the old world, I want the old world to listen to Governor Godwin Obaseki. Uh, from day one, this is how it all began. Uh, I want you people to see the hypocrisy of Governor Godwin Obaseki, how he is unprepared. Uh, this is not a leader. Uh, he only care about power. Uh, from the beginning, I want you to listen to what he said. And uh, as we go, we're going to be playing a different video. Up to now, Governor Godwin Obaseki have not even given one Edo citizen a pain, not even a rice. God bless you. I am addressing you today on the coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic that has destabilized ec economies and the social existence of many countries in the last four months. COVID-19 has finally found its way into our country and reports reveal that there have been an increase in the number of confirmed cases. In Edo State, we have developed an action plan to cope with this pandemic. The postponed National Sports Festival Edo 2020 gave us the opportunity to put in place a contingency plan. We have three isolation centers in Benin City, Iroa, and Auchi, the federal government testing center in Iroa, and a large number of well-trained and certified health workers to treat and trace patients. Coronavirus is not a death sentence, so there is no need to panic. With swift identification and proper management and care, many persons who have been infected with the virus have made full recoveries. If we all work together and take the right precautions, it is possible to cope with this virus. As you are all aware, the common signs and symptoms of coronavirus infections include dry cough, fever, and difficulty in breathing. Since COVID-19 is a virus that is transmitted from one person to another through close contact, the most effective and proven remedy is to, re to reduce its spread is through social distancing. Social distancing involves reducing as much as possible physical contacts with others. The government of Edo State therefore advises that from today, 23rd March 2020, every citizen should practice social distancing to prevent the coronavirus from spreading in our state. In order to give effect to our social distancing policy, Gatherings of more than 50 people are prohibited in Edo State until further notice. All schools are to remain closed in Edo State until further notice. Public transportation will remain in operation. However, crowding in commercial vehicles should be avoided. All public officers below grade level 12, except those in providing essential services such as fire and health care should work from home until further notice. Citizens are advised to postpone unnecessary travels in and out of the state and if possible stay at home. If you know of anyone who arrived from Europe, the Americas or Asia in the last 30 days, please give details of such persons including their phone numbers so that we can provide screening and any required support to them. You should call the following numbers 0808 409 6723 0806 425 8163 0803 583 5529-0807-413-2019. If you 
or any relative of yours has any signs and symptoms of coronavirus, please report to the nearest designated hospital. These are Central Hospital, Edo Specialist Hospital, and Stella Basanjo Hospitals in Benin City, Iroa Specialist Teaching Hospital in Iroa, University of Benin Teaching Hospital, and Auchi General Hospital, so that these persons can be monitored, tested, and treated. The Edo State Government is very interested in the health and welfare and social support for the very vulnerable in our society, particularly the elderly and persons with chronic diseases. If you know of any of these persons in this category who may be ill, kindly call and report to the numbers which I listed above. The Edo State Task Force on COVID-19, which is headed by me and made up of prominent leaders in the state, will meet frequently to review and update the situation. As you go about your daily activities, apply extra caution such as washing your hands regularly with running water and use alcohol-based sanitizers. As we face this challenge, I call on all Edo residents to remain calm and cooperate with us and ensure that you follow the instructions and steps which we have outlined to curtail the spread of COVID-19. Be rest assured that your government will provide the required leadership and support to check this pandemic in Edo State. I thank you and God bless the people of Edo. Wake and sleep, Governor. After I Mega Comrade Clemente Ranomigo Edegbe came out on social media after this broadcast. I counter all his plan. He came back and changed it. Working with the various associations and bodies, we need to agree on how the communication for the COVID-19 is going to be pushed down to members. The inauguration of Federal State Response Committee on COVID-19, comprising key stakeholders, traditional rulers, and religious leaders, is for them to enforce restrictions on social gatherings not exceeding 20 people. We have reviewed the social distancing policy, and we are reducing the numbers of people who can be in any gathering at any point in time in Federal State from 50 to 20. The security agencies are going to sit back and work out an enforcement plan. Governor Baseki said as part of measures to curb the spread of the pandemic, only markets where essential commodities like foodstuffs and medicine are sold should be allowed to operate. He directed transport unions to intensify sensitization among their members on the need to implement social distancing policy by reducing the number of passengers and also observing health and sanitary precautions to prevent the spread of COVID-19. In our motor parks, we will intensify the communication so that there is ownership and would now reduce working with the road transport regulators the number of persons in cars and buses and have in place an effective monitoring mechanism which must include the unions themselves. He informed the committee that the state government has commenced mass production of hand sanitizers in collaboration with Iroa Specialist Teaching Hospital that will be distributed to local government areas, palaces, markets, and other government agencies for use in public places to drastically prevent coronavirus infection. If the federal government hasn't taken steps for a full lockdown, then on Friday this committee will meet again to make decisions as to whether or not Edo State should have a full lockdown. Some of the committee members comment on ways to curtail the spread of the pandemic. These people that we have directed to stay at home, it shouldn't be taken as a holiday for them to start maybe moving about, doing nothing, or going from place to place. The reason why they have to stay at home or work from home is that they should at home, not traveling. On 
reports making the round of indiscriminate consumption of chloroquine, Governor mm. Baseki said Transport the state government would work with the state the Ministry of Health and other medical bodies to immediately swing into action to reach patent medicine stores to regulate the spread of medicine. My good people of Edo State, as you heard him, this is a confused God. He has no wisdom of leadership. He cannot lead. He's a bad woman for Edo people. Look at him. Everywhere he go, he sleep around. Watch him. This is a man that called coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic that is not a death sentence. Watch him. The next time he's going to come out, you're going to see him with masks. You know, what goes around comes around. Edo people, this man cannot lead Edo state. He needs to go. Governor God, Basaki is a problem to Edo people. He's a bad man. He do not care about anybody but his pocket. Power. That is what he cares about. Listen to him. I speak to you today in the wake of the COVID-19 virus outbreak. Since my last communication to you on the 24th of March 2020, the virus has now affected over 724,000 people worldwide. And unfortunately, over 34,000 people have died as a result. The COVID-19 pandemic is real. And like the rest of the world, we are fighting to get ahead of this outbreak and to protect our people. So far, we have two confirmed cases in Edo State and we are deploying our resources to confront this pandemic. Even as we pray for the best, we are preparing for the worst case scenario. The Edo State plan to combat the COVID-19 virus is centered around the following, creating awareness, training our healthcare workforce, screening, testing, and providing prompt treatment. To this end, we are ensuring that everyone living in Edo State, whether in the cities or in the rural areas, is provided with ample information about the COVID-19 virus so that they can protect themselves and their families. We are providing training for over 6,000 healthcare professionals from the public and private health institutions so that they can have appropriate information and tools to support and care for our people. We stand a good chance to win the fight against COVID-19 if we obey the social distancing measures and the government stay at home order as has been prescribed. This will help us reduce further spread of the virus. In order to understand the magnitude of COVID-19 problem in our state, we need to screen and test more people. Therefore, we are establishing over 100 screening points across all local government areas made up of teaching hospitals, general hospitals, primary healthcare centers, and private hospitals. Anyone with known symptoms or suspects that they may have been exposed can go and talk to a trained healthcare worker who will provide care according to the defined protocol. This is offered free of charge to our people. We are working closely with the Irua Specialist Teaching Hospital, one of the six designated testing centers in Nigeria, to expand their capacity so that they can test more people. Additionally, we are planning to open a new specialized testing center in Benin City. We have isolation centers with a total of 280 beds located at the Stella Basanjo Hospital, Benin, University of Benin Teaching Hospital, Irua Specialist Hospital, and the Auchi General Hospital. In addition, we have secured 25 additional ventilators, increasing the total number of ventilators to 28. Ten intensive care units now exist in the state to take care of critical cases. I chair the Edo State COVID-19 Response Committee, which meets daily to evaluate and review all the latest developments as it relates to COVID-19. While the Deputy Governor is Chairman of the Technical Committee, the COVID-19 virus does not move. It is people that move it and then spread it. You can stop its spread by maintaining social distancing and staying at home, while the healthcare workers do their best in containing the virus. In case of any emergency, please dial 112 and any issues will be resolved accordingly. I understand very much that any kind of shutdown or restrictions of movement will create economic hardship for our people. However, this has been the most effective solution worldwide to stop the spread of COVID-19. To ease the pain resulting from shutdowns and movement restrictions, 
We are developing palliatives in consultation with the federal government and our partners. I want to especially thank our healthcare professionals who have generously volunteered their time and expertise and are working tirelessly to attend to the healthcare needs of our people. I use this opportunity to thank our partners who have donated items, food supplies, and cash to our COVID-19 accounts. And I appeal to well-meaning individuals and corporate bodies to assist in providing additional palliative measures. God bless the great people of Edo State. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. During my broadcast on Sunday, uh, I gave Governor Godwin Obaseki three days to come out and tell Edo people uh, how he's going to help Edo people. Pastor Osage Ezeyamu was going around helping Edo people. See as he came out. He listen to what your governor said. My good people of Edo State, I am addressing you today to update you on the activities and efforts which the very dedicated Edo State COVID-19 response team have been undertaking to curb this pandemic. As of today, Edo State has 11 confirmed cases and sadly one death from COVID-19. Unfortunately, from the evidence we now have, the number of cases are likely to increase significantly in the next few weeks unless we take very drastic actions now to slow down the spread. We have gathered information that large numbers of our citizens who traveled back home in the last several weeks from overseas may not have self-isolated themselves. Although majority of the current cases are individuals with travel history and those of their relatives, in the coming days, we are likely to see community transmission of the virus to people who do not have any travel history. As a result of these developments, we have to now adopt more stringent measures while still trying to protect the livelihoods of our people. Edo State Government is very reluctant to have a total shutdown of the state because of the hardship it will cost to our people. However, if we are going to stop the spread of the virus, every person must be involved. It must be a shared responsibility. Government alone cannot stop it without the active cooperation of the citizens. As I emphasized in my last statement, the COVID-19 virus does not spread on its own. It is people who spread it when they move around. So if we can reduce the movement of people for a period, and keep safe distance from each other, the virus will not spread. Government will now strictly enforce all the guidelines which has been announced to control the spread of COVID-19. For the next 14 days, it is now compulsory that every person in Edo State must wear face masks while in public. The Edo State Association of Tailors and Fashion Designers are mass producing high quality reusable face masks at affordable prices. Any gathering of more than 20 people will be immediately dispersed and persons involved will be prosecuted. All markets in Edo State will be shut for fumigation, sanitization and thorough cleaning over the next 14 days. All those selling essential items like food and medicines will be relocated by their local governments to the, next, the nearest open spaces where they can sell their goods while observing social distancing regulations. The government of Edo State will shut down any hotel found to be hosting guests who travel from outside the state and have not informed the COVID-19 response team to screen such guests. Vehicles with passengers not adhering to the social distancing regulations will be impounded and the driver will be prosecuted. All business premises and households must have hand washing facilities at points of entry 
and please insist that everyone must wash their hands before entry. All government hospitals and primary health care centers and designated private clinics will be used as screening centers to screen citizens who believe that they may have been exposed or suspect that they may have symptoms of COVID-19. We have now completed the first set of training of our health workers in Edo State who will man these screening and isolation centers. Government is aware of the economic challenges caused by this prevailing situation. We know that many families who earn income on a daily basis are experiencing untold hardships. Working with the local governments, religious organizations and traditional rulers, we will be distributing food items to the most affected and the most vulnerable members of our communities. We continue to receive cash, equipment, drugs and food supplies from well-meaning individuals and government agencies. For this, we say thank you. The Secretary to the Government of Edo State will announce names of members of the committees who will be assisting us to coordinate our relief efforts. God bless the good people of Edo State and God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. <laughs> Akataka, look at your governor. Wake and sleep governor. I told you, I gave him three days to come out and tell the good people of Edo State how he's going to help innocent poor Edo citizen. You cannot tell Edo people to wash their hand, to put a, a bucket. They, they don't have money. They don't have money. There's no job. Governor Godwin Obaseki is the worst thing that have ever happened to Edo State. Why Governor Godwin Obaseki is hiding? After I gave him three days to come out, and he came out. I thank you for that. Pastor Osage is a yamu no ga. Oh, man. Pastor Osage is a yamu was going around. Oh, may God Almighty bless you, Pastor Sage Zeyamu. He was going around sharing food, giving food to handicapped, to widow, to those who cannot feed themselves. Just watch, listen, and watch. See how a governor is supposed to behave. POI is taking over everywhere. Oh, no, no. Senaim, we love. I demand we like. Senaim, we love. I demand for the people. Pastor Saige, is a yamu. Accessible Saige, is a yamu. Experienced Saige, is a yamu. Capable Saige, is a yamu. I don't make me follow who no rubber. I don't make me follow my wasabi. Make me follow the light. Is a yamu. Experienced Saige. Is a yamu, capable of saige. Man for the youth, man for the people. Any day, anywhere now. Naimo, pastor saige. Is a yamu, accessible of saige. Is a yamu, experienced of saige. Is a yamu, capable of saige. Is a yamu, is a yamu. POI is taking over everywhere. Oh no, no. Senaim, we love. I demand we like. Naim, we love. I demand for the people. Pastor Saige, is a yamu. Accessible, Saige, is a yamu. Experience the side, is a yamu. Capable of side, is a yamu. I don't make me follow who no rubber. I don't make me follow my wasabi. Make me follow the light, is a yamu. Experience the side, is a yamu. Capable of side, man for the youth. Man for the people, any day, anywhere now. Naimo, Pastor Saige, is a yamu. Accessible, oh Saige, is a yamu. Experienced, oh Saige, is a yamu. Capable, oh Saige, is a yamu. Is a yamu. Is 
Pastor Sage is a yamu no ga. Nama you be. Aje gaje we re menera no migo taene. This is uh, part of the bags of rice we ordered to distribute to different parts of the states as our own way of helping to cushion the hardship that the restriction will bring. We hope that uh, the families that get uh, some of this food stuff would appreciate a little gesture. The, we appeal to wear many in the daylights to do likewise. These are also onions. Waiting to get more. These are onions. We ordered. Some have been brought more coming. These are bags of beans. These are bags of beans. All these are beans. Beans to order. These uh, are tomatoes. Tin tomatoes. Cartons of tin tomatoes. More are coming. Cartons of tin tomatoes. Of course, this is Gary. We're also trying to get as many as possible so that uh, we can send them to the 18 local governments and ensure that uh, as many people as possible get. We wish we could do more, but of course you know that uh, we have financial limitations. But we just hope that this gesture of ours will uh, provoke others to do likewise. Uh, we thank government for what they are doing, but we still appeal to them to do more. Because our people need all the assistance they can get at a time like this. Thank you and God bless you. The gesture, which is part of a contribution to caution the effects of COVID-19, saw the wife of Pastor Osaige Ezeyamu presented rice, beans, hoi, noodles, and other items to the homes. Mrs. Ezeyamu, who was represented by the councillor representing Ward 8, Becky Sule, said the gesture is to show commitment to their plight and other less privileged in the society. She called on other well-meaning Nigerians to help the needy. This is a and environment right now. That's your power book. No one manage your emoy the toilet now you are this period. You me that a one amati very racky more any mana power but what a manage on the period. I try and re sanitizer Uta Uta Gishe Pega Boa then what a rapport in the now or Pionu. I don't want me now or your talk this period. So I don't make me mark well that a your more why you do, you are a why that everybody is part of the agenda. So let's tell you, may you tell I get it. The beneficiaries thanked the donor for the materials and wished her well in all her endeavors. Our special ties go to the Mrs. Ezeyamu. So we appreciate her very well for the gift she brought to us. So we thank her. And uh, we love her. Give thanks to this person. God will protect her anywhere she go. And God will bless her, her desire. And anything I've seen against you, talking to her, people will locate her. And anything they did for her, she will always jump and pass. We thank God for everything that is upon this period. May God should help us in Jesus' name. <laughs> Okay, now no drum is to me that a mag bonato or Yaluna, a maru bochipo or a kill gua emi gummet at the onlook well, and I know drum or so now. Why you can I say be was so so? Larry, on no yard, or the Naloli, I hear. The donor, Mrs. Idia Ezeyamu, is the wife of Pastor Osaige Ezeyamu, a chieftain of the APC. She had made similar donations to some homes in Edo South. Victoria Taiwo, Good NTA people News. of Edo State, as you all can see for yourself, the good work Pastor Osaige Ezeyamu have done for the innocent poor citizen, for the masses, and for all Edo 
citizen. Pastor Sagi is a yamu. It's a man that a do people need. I don't see how another person, a do people will go and vote for another person to become a governor in this 2020. Abba. If that one happen, ah, uh, where? <laughs> hey, do people make a shout na ah, Obaseki, pack your load and go back to Lagos. Go back to Lagos, Mama Gualo, we do to fear. You will Obaseki with me. God will know your Obaseki.